This is my Honda Repsol RR50. I built it. I named it. And it's the only one in existence. Maybe one day this bike will be famous. Maybe they'll make a movie out of it, like that old crazy fucker in uh, Building a Faster Indian. That brilliant Australian inventor. Perhaps. What I've done with the wiring here is I've kept the original wiring from the turn signal right here and I put the wiring what I've done is I spliced this green wire from the appropriate uh, wires from the turn signal then I've ran them through the the holes right here and I've found an ingenious way to to mark the wires. You just take some tape, green tape or whatever you want. And I just had some green tape handy and I put them on the these extensions right here that will mark which wires go where so that I can put them on this brilliant little stage 6 uh, adaptation of the turn signal. Now what I have here is a turn signal right here with three wires. I have a push button which you could use for a million things and an on and off switch. But I have to adapt all these wires to the headset right here. But I need to put the headset on the I need to uh, uh, plug the whole damn thing in so I can't do the wires separately and then another problem is the turn signals and most of the bigger things will not work without the engine on they just don't they just don't work that way so I basically have to build everything put it together and pray the wiring works that's why I have all the wiring tucked on the outside and as soon as I make sure it works I'll tuck it inside this hole right here and get it going and that's the last step it's all full of uh, the antifreeze all the leaks have been set hopefully this will not leak this could leak though hopefully it will not all the rest of the wiring has been put up and everything is on go so I just have to get mentally prepared to start this bitch up and kick some unholy ass and that's what I plan to do I've already got a team ready to go they're gonna be the crew I'm gonna have little t-shirts made I think that'd be kinda cool have little t-shirts made I really wish to tell you the truth um, all, uh, everyone that's been watching these videos I wish that I could, and I still might do this, I wish I could get, make a little tiny trailer with those little tiny gyro wheels, because this bike's only 130 pounds, get it, make a little tiny trailer, okay, with a little hook in the front, and my gyro has a, um, it actually has a trailer hitch in the back of it. And I would like to go into the race course and pull the bike with the gyro. I think that would be a grand, totally cool entrance. Something I would only think about. But the problem is I'm not a welder. And I just, I wish I could weld. I actually got a welder, but I, I'm not a welder. But who knows, you know, maybe, maybe I can do that. Because uh, um, this will be a, a complete oddity at any racetrack because no one has seen anything like this in America they don't do it here and some people you know they'll have a good laugh and that's fine but it's just different it's just different it's kind of like having a bicycle to do 120 miles an hour you just don't see something like that 
except unless it's you know falling off a Mount Everest or something with some idiot on it. Anyway, the journey continues.